Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. Uh, they have recently launched on Nykaa.com. LA Girl is basically a US based company and this concealer is one of their most successful products. It's a drugstore concealer over there in the US and of course here too. And it is extremely, extremely effective price wise. And that's why I think that this concealer has done so well worldwide and now in India as well. So getting into the specifications, it comes in this sort of a tube packaging. And once you open the cap, it has a brush applicator so that this is basically for direct application onto the face you don't need a separate brush but obviously you will need something to blend the concealer in the net weight of this product is eight grams which means there is a total of eight grams worth of concealer in this tube moving on to the price the price is for 535 bucks on nika.com which is absolutely brilliant it is very cost effective compared to the other high-end concealers that are available like MAC and NARS and all the other high-end brands that are available here in India. As far as when I checked on Nykaa, this concealer comes in a total of 24 shades out of which three shades are the actual characters which is the orange, the green and the yellow. The remaining 21 shades are all different shades of this concealer which is I think the highest amount that is there after MAC or I think even MAC does not have 21 shades of concealer available for the Indian skin tone and that is something that is really commendable. Moving on to the texture, the texture of this concealer, the texture of this concealer is quite creamy and it is super thick which is something that's really great because it gives you more coverage and especially for the Indian skin tone and Indian dark circles, acne spots, etc. It is very, very good. So if you want a comparison, it is thicker than the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. It is almost the same thickness and creaminess as the NARS Radium Creamy Concealer, as the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This product is extremely blendable. Once you apply it on your under eyes or your acne spots or wherever, it is very, very easily blendable. I would use a beauty blender usually to blend something like this or even the fingers. I'm not a big fan of using brushes, so I think a beauty blender would be great to smoothen out and blend this concealer out completely. Once it sets, uh, just like any other concealer, you will need to set this concealer with a setting powder. You can't just leave it like that, it will crease. But that is true with any other concealer as well. Moving on to the coverage, this is almost full coverage. And the reason I say this is almost full coverage is because inherently as Indians, we tend to have a lot of deeper dark circles and something like that definitely would need a corrector before you use this concealer onto your skin. Uh, and which is why that's why I say it's almost full coverage. So I have three shades of this concealer. Pure beige, medium beige and toffee. Now this shade which is medium beige is the one that I use to conceal my dark circles. Because this concealer is so cheaply priced I decided when I was ordering it that I would order more than just one because the pure beige I usually use for highlighting under my eyes, on my nose, in on my forehead and then the toffee shade is the one that sorry it's toast the toast shade is the one that i use to contour my face so anytime i want a cream contour or cream highlight my face these are the concealers that i use i don't have a specific contour and highlight cream palette and even if i would have it i think this is just so much easier to use um, let me know in the comments if you want a full video on how to contour and cream highlight using these concealers so finally moving on to the pros and cons what and what I feel about this concealer. The pros is that definitely it is priced amazingly well. I mean 535 rupees for a concealer that does as good as a job as a MAC would or a NARS would. That is something that is really great. Secondly, it comes in 24 shades. Well, if you take out the corrector, still 21 grades still 21 shades is absolutely phenomenal because then you have something to match to every single skin tone that you could possibly think of in the Indian olive sort of skin tone range that we have. Thirdly, it is extremely smooth and very easy to use, very easy to blend and it sits on your skin and it stays there for as long as you would think. Now in general, I have really really dry under eyes so those are my notes. In general, I have really really dry under eyes, so any concealer that I use, whether it's high-end or whether it's drugstore, it tends to crease on my under eyes. But this one does crease, I'm not saying it doesn't, but it creases 
after it has been on there for a while. So if you don't have naturally dry under eyes like I do, then this concealer is really really amazing. Uh, coming to the cons, the only one I can think of is the packaging and the applicator that it comes with. I really don't think that the brush applicator that it comes with helps in any way. Like you saw, I just squeezed my tube out and a lot of product just squirted out of it, which sometimes is dangerous if that's happening to you when you're applying your concealer and you've already done your eye makeup if it just squirts all over the place it's not really good so which is why what I do is I sometimes when I've done heavy eye makeup I tend to take it out of my hand and then use the concealer just with a beauty blender or something to dab it under my eyes so that is one con I think but overall this concealer is absolutely brilliant and especially for the price point I think I would definitely recommend a buy for this concealer. Anyways, that was all. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you in my next video.